I'm going to show you the easiest way to use any standard CO2 canister, like our older blue SodaStream ones, with the newer SodaStream models like the Duo, the Art, and the Terra that only use a proprietary uh, quick connect system, the pink bottles from SodaStream. So with a simple adapter, and some small changes on your machine, you'll be able to use any standard CO2 canister in your SodaStream. Now, a quick note about the pink Quick Connect nozzle. SodaStream is a razor blade company. Yes, they sell these soda makers, but they sell these very cheaply, maybe even at a loss or very small profit. But these canisters, their razor blades, especially if you pay for their overpriced refill exchange service, these are hugely profitable for them. They're trying to make these into not a commodity. CO2 is a commodity. We as humans literally exhale two pounds of CO2 gas a day. It's not an expensive gas, but packaging it and shipping it and transporting it can be. But when you get your CO2 from a local source in bulk, you're saving enormous amounts of carbon emissions from having to transport and package a commodity. So I would highly suggest investing in a, a 20 pound tank if you care about you know, your environment and your wallet. And there are local providers in every town around the world where you can get liquid CO2 for very cheap. With that rant over, let's take a look at how you can get around the proprietary pink connector. Let's first start with the adapter that you need. Now this is the blue to pink or TR21-4 standard to the proprietary quick connect adapter. You can get this on Amazon for around $20 and I'll put a link to this one in the video description below. Now this adapter screws right on top of any standard CO2 cylinder, just like this. And once you have your adapter, you'll need to make a little bit more space in your soda stream to fit the extra length that the adapter adds to the cylinder. So on the Terra, it's quite simple. Once we take off the back, there are two small slits right here at the base where you can remove a bottom piece. So if we depress these, like so, you're able to pop out this piece from the base. Now you have more room here you can insert a standard cylinder with our adapter into the device like this. And now you're ready to go. And so that's how you can do it on the uh, Terra and you're all set. Um, on the Art, it's a little more complicated, but still very doable. There are four screws in the base of the Art. I've taken these off already to show you what it looks like. So this is the base. There are four screws here. If you take those screws out, you're able to get to access to the back here, open up the quick connect. So you're able to um, attach the adapter to a standard bottle, insert it in and connect. Now you can put everything back together like so. Uh, screw in the, the base there, put on the back, and that's how the easiest way to do it in the art. Now you could also, at the base here, you could also take a sawzaw or a fine tooth jigsaw and actually cut out this circle portion to give it that extra space if you didn't want to remove the screws each time. But you could just take, you know, two of these in or even just leave one um, and remove the base very easily that way. Um, and that's what I would recommend. So, all right, now that we have the space to attach our adapter to any standard cylinder. I mean, it's just so easy to use a standard one in either the Art or the Terra. So if you want to make sure that you save as much money as possible, I'd highly recommend checking out my video on refilling from a 20 pound tank like this from a local provider of CO2. Uh, not only is it better for the environment, You'll be able to refill these canisters for a dollar or two a piece. So make sure and check out that video here. And thanks for watching on how to use the SodaStream uh, blue to pink adapter. So see you in the next video.